Holy uh, Oh my goodness. Uh, uh. I feel a sense of relief because I am not the one eliminated. But at the same time, it's a bittersweet moment just because I sent home Carrie. You ladies are truly a blessing. And you each are all stars. Oh, Carrie, Carrie. That was a lot. She made me realize that you have to live your life authentically 100% yourself and not hold anything back. She represented everything I wanted to be. And I was such a big fan of her before coming in here. And I feel horrible that I was the one that sent her home. It's just really, really hard just because I want to be in this competition so bad. But I do have this like looming feeling of that like, I did something like wrong. Carrie is a very rare, beautiful soul. We love you, Carrie. We love you. We love you, Carrie. You'll always be in our hearts. Jasmine's really upset to be the one that knocked Carrie out, but this is a competition, so she needs to focus on the bigger picture and really just set her sights on the prize. Congratulations, Miss yes. 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 Finally, you bitch. Yes. Yeah. It feels really good. Yeah. It feels so good. You're like, bitch, I want to win something. And to see you do, I think we're all just like, well deserved, yeah. yeah. Well, and I hope nobody like takes offense to if I've come off a little bitchy or like whatever. The past couple of weeks, I've just like really trying to keep my head in the game right now. So, girl, you're here to win. I yeah, know. Well, and I bitch hope y'all like bitches are here yeah, too. Yeah, you know, because yeah. if you're not, then why the f are you here? I'll that's see. that's just how I think about I'll it. See. So, Daya is very open about how competitive she is, and that's something I appreciate because I'm not very open with how competitive I am. It is okay to feel a little cutthroat at times. Is anybody surprised or confused by any of the placements tonight? For the most part, I totally understand like the tops and the bottoms of the week. But the safe girls kind of like we're trying to do the math yes. as well and figure out because like we did say that Miss Deja might have been in the bottom. The safe queen's opinions does not matter. I met this challenge head on. So their opinions, it doesn't matter. F them. This is a really tight race. There's a lot of wins on the board right now. There's six of us that have a win right now, and Miss Angie has two. I'm the only one that has a one. <laughs> I have a one either. Do you have one? I want a win. I need a win. I'm hoping that I can throw some, you know, pearls on the stage. I can trip someone. Something very subtle that I can get away with. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't have, like, a strategy mindset. I really don't. Maybe I should. <laughs> oh. oh, I knocked over someone's powder. I'll buy you a new one. With what, win money? No. <laughs> you shady, no, bitch. I have been a mess today. I dropped glitter, powder, choreography. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is an incredibly stupid idea to count anybody out. The moment you start, like, Looking past somebody is the moment you're setting yourself up to be proven wrong and send your ass home. Read me to Phil. Well, we know Deja can't, so someone else? <laughs> <laughs> you two-faced Gemini bitch! <laughs> the winner of RuPaul's Drag Race receives a one-year supply of Anastasia Beverly Hills Cosmetics and a grand prize of $100,000, powered by Cash App. With Extra special guest judge, Nicole Fire. It is another day in the workroom. I am feeling so good coming off of a fresh win, but I'm going to pretend that it didn't really happen. That way I don't get too caught up in it. Hello, hello, hello. Yes. Yes. And then there were eight. Yes. They say it's a man's world, but when it comes to snatching attention, nobody does it better than a drag queen. Yes. Yes. So for today's mini challenge, you need to photobomb some of the world's most famous men. <laughs> Now, warning, your photo may go viral, but a quick trip to the clinic will clear that right up. <laughs> oh 
And to help you stand out, feel free to use bold accessories, courtesy of snag tights. Okay, ladies, you've got 15 minutes to get into quick drag. Ready, set, go! <laughs> Oh, oh my god, I look stupid, I look crazy. <laughs> so today we're just gonna be really embracing natural beauty. All right, ladies, time is up. All right, first up, it's diabetic. Photo bombing little Nas X at the Tom Ford Fashion Show. I really wanna squeeze his nipples. Oh, yeah. Nipples! Oh, yes, get it all in there. Emote <laughs> through your face, not your ass. <laughs> <laughs> she wants some big Nas X. And Jerry, a photo bombing David Beckham. Mr. Posh Spice, if you're nasty. You realize any hole is a goal. Uh huh. Bend it like Beckham. Lady Camden, photo bombing Sasha Baron Cohen. Can you bend those legs behind your head? Ah! <laughs> Apparently I can. <laughs> Bad Borat. Slap it. Yeah. Cheeky bastard. Willow Pill. Photo bombing Jake Gyllenhaal walking his dog in LA. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do a washed up Mary Lou Retton for this. This is from the 1963 Olympics. Ah. <laughs> ah. Ride that dog like you really mean it. And sniff that dog's ass. Sniff it hard. <laughs> Bosco photobombing Pee Wee Herman. Eye to the camera. Now brown eye to the camera. Why don't you take a picture? It'll last longer. George's photobombing Leonardo DiCaprio. She's queen of the world! <laughs> Jasmine Kennedy photobombing Billy Porter at the Met Gala. Strike a pose, darling. You look like a pterodactyl. <laughs> <laughs> Billy and Jasmine, now with wings. Deja Sky photobombing Shawn Mendes at the MTV VMAs. Hi, lady. Oh. Oh my god, Deja, why'd you have to be so sexy? <laughs> New couple alert. Can you them as you flip them yeah. off? Mm, yeah. Deja, do you love it when he calls you senorita? Wow, the camera loves you all. But one of you set the interwebs on fire. <laughs> the winner of today's mini challenge is Willow Pill. <laughs> Congratulations, you've won a cash prize of $2,500. Ladykins, I've got good news. RuPaul's Drag Con is back and better than ever. Yeah! Our tribe gathers in person to celebrate love, light, and laughter. In addition to the exclusive performances, the sickening shopping, and the star-studded meet and greets, my favorite part is the Drag Con panels. Yeah. It's where today's most sizzling personalities discuss hot topics that we can all relate to. Now, for this week's Maxi Challenge, you'll work in two groups to tackle the highly fascinating and deeply complex topic of men's. Oh. Uh huh. <laughs> Whether you want to talk about your sugar daddies, your real daddy, <laughs> your blood brothers, mm. or your brother from another mother, you need to lead a dynamic discussion that's both real and real entertaining. Now, Willow, you won the mini challenge, so you get to choose your team. Ooh. I'm really happy because I didn't want to get stuck with a group that I didn't want to work with. But I'm also afraid that whoever's left is like, oh, I'm just like chopped liver. But, you know, they're going to have to get over it, so I don't even care. Willow, who do you choose first? OK, I've never gotten to work with Deja. Yeah. Willow picks me first. Beep, 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 beep. Angie. Yay! Damn, Willow, what you gonna do with all that ass? <laughs> the last person I would like to work with more is Camden. Yay! Wait, those are your choices? My thoughts exactly. 
And that means Diabetti, Bosco, Jasmine Kennedy, and Georges, you are on the opposing team. I have to say, I have observed Daya's face. She doesn't seem the most excited with the people on her team. Ladies, as you prepare your panels, each team needs to pick one queen to act as the moderator of your panel. Racers, start your engines, and may the best drag queen win. I am a little nervous. The other team, they've all been playing the game super strong. However, Willow puts me in a group with Jasmine. Jasmine's like an energy vampire. And that is not good. Hashtag team leftovers. Hey, it's Michelle Visage. Do you want gay shit? Check out RuPaul's Drag Race YouTube channel and hit subscribe.